big rub. Nice. No, this is not winter time. This is not the powerlifting prep. We are doing squats because you, you can't just stop doing them. <laughs> I mean, the, the oh my God, the chalk on your trap looks crazy. Uh, yeah, so if it wasn't for this knurling right here, the thing would straight up fall off my pack. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I could wear a singlet and a t-shirt, but well, I want to go shirtless, so. Well, it's also different during the summer because you're just sweating more. You could yeah. do the singlet and the shirtless in the winter and there's no problem. Right, yeah. But right now, it's yeah. gonna slide right off. I've had a straight bar in my back in quite a while, but uh. Oh, wait, let me ask. Yeah. How is your shoulder mobility and flexibility after taking time away from low bar and doing rings You're and stuff? You're trying to trap me into saying that word, aren't you? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Stiff, oh, you got a booger near. too. Get yeah. that booger out of there. Okay. My nose produces a lot of boogers, guys. I don't know if it's like the shape of it or something. Does your dad have it too? I don't know. I never asked. Maybe I should. We'll see him here. He's next here next week. week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can ask about booger production. I mean, it's a lot better than it was because I took a break and I've been doing a lot of dynamic stretches. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's really good. <laughs> That's a big, I mean, yeah. it's a underrated shoulder mobility and the amount of force you can keep the bar on your back is really underrated for how well you can squat. That's yeah, true. It's a big deal, honestly. We're just, just going to work up and I'm going to uh, try squatting for the first time in... Now, are you doing safety oh, squat bar or are you doing a... I'm doing safety squat bar because okay. I just don't want to do high bar and I don't want to do low bar. <laughs> so. yeah, the other way around, I've been doing nothing but safety squat bar when I do do my squat work and I'm bored with it. I just want to put a straight bar in my back because it's easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you've never used a safety squat bar, it is harder than a normal squat bar. But people think it's easier because it's out here. Do it, it'll throw you off. Yeah, for me, I just want to focus on my uh, my knee and my lower body instead of having to focus on you know keeping tight up top. We are putting massive amounts of chalk on Juju's back. His back is massive and because... Imagine if you had to put sunscreen on because you're uh, squatting outside in a power rack that's positioned on your patio. Okay. <laughs> that would be the worst thing ever. Oh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, wow, that's cool. <coughs> oh! Oh! Uh. Let's go big rats. <coughs> Huge strong man. Big rip. Yes. Again. Oh, these are crazy. Yeah, big bounce. Yes. No problem. Woo! Oh, are you pausing? Good stuff. <laughs> <are> you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Gotta do the abs. Yeah, uh, one step forward. One step forward. Oh abs for squats. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to this bar now because it's safer. Are you doing it too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing it too. The one top set with the uh, straight bar and then I'm gonna do some yeah. back offs because uh, I wanna focus more on not my shoulders holding the bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and just... I'm doing a wider stance than I usually do. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do ish, low bar-ish on this. You can't do full low bar on this bar, but. Yeah, the best you can do is take your uh, fist, as you know, and just kind of push them upwards so the whole thing just kind of like sits a little yeah. bit further on your back, and that's how you kind of emulate it, very easy. I want to thank you for wearing this shirt today, Tom, because anyone who's a content creator or does any sort of work with a camera, when you're doing any sort of focusing manually, it just pops. You can see everything brighten up on this shirt. These pinstripes just jumping out at me, let me know that Tom's Beautiful facial hair and <laughs> all of his wonderful facial features are in focus right now. Oh, I gotta get that. I have a hat on today because I'm quite uh, vulnerable when it comes to my hair. What? Wait, okay. Well, hold on. Just let me do this. Well, this is cool. When my hair's down like this, it looks more that mullet. Hair? Yeah, yeah, it looks more mullet, right? Yeah. So, uh, what I need to do is Find I need black to. Black market hairdresser? I'm gonna cut the. Yeah, somebody's gotta be open now, right? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna cut the sides and go full mullet. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I've been yeah. asking you for this for a month. I want the Australian mullet. That's gonna be on screen. Uh, I love the Australian mullet. Yeah. Like Ziz, do you remember Ziz mullet? Yeah. Yeah. 
that's some stanky ass shit, right? Uh, while I'm filming Juju doing squats, I'm gonna talk about our friend Zach Tellender. He is a cool man who is an Olympic weightlifter, and him and a friend who's a director, professional producer, are going to be making a weightlifting feature film, a narrative. It's not a documentary. Zach is playing the main role. Apparently he has acting shots and he's been uh, practicing his acting because I haven't seen it on his YouTube channel. Maybe he's a leading man, who knows? He's got the height, he's got the, um, he's got about half the looks. They have a Kickstarter for this uh, movie. We will have cameos in it if we uh, do them good enough. Oh. I, think. Uh, I don't know sure what your cameo is. I want your cameo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So in it, he's trying not to take uh, drugs for weightlifting while everyone else is around him. Uh -huh. I think you should be the the guy that like saves him. Like, no man, you sh you shouldn't. <laughs> or the guy that tries to sell him to him. Who's this uh, feature? Or I could, I could play is that. This, is the, the Dare program enacted again? I know that's what I mean. Drugs. What if I'm the mullet wearing guy that Eastern European like? Oh, I can get you any sort of steroids. I I have them all. Uh, you want Dexedrine? You want... Uh, you uh, the yes. I will... Any, anything for you. I, I, now I'm... Oh, so, so, what is, <laughs> so what is this film about? A weightlifter's journey to, I believe, the National Trials or something. Okay. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, like a poker movie or a, uh, you know, basketball movie. I would say like that dodgeball movie with Ben Stiller. Oh, like Space Jam. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. So Clarence will be a cameo, I'm sure. Um, maybe he's American. That would actually be funny. If Clarence was American and he had to put it on an American accent. Oh, that'd be great. I would like that. I, I would too. I would watch the film just for that purpose. Oh, me too, actually, yeah. Because uh, I can't even picture in my mind what that would be like. No, nor have I seen Clarence display any sort of emotion uh, in my life, so. <laughs> that, that too. <laughs> he filled up his tissues to withstand higher and higher forces of shearing force on the trampoline. If you can imagine shearing force on a trampoline, well. <laughs> you won't have to imagine much more because in the next month we'll have the largest in-ground trampoline that you've ever seen and Tom is preparing for it by doing this exercise. It's not true at all. Uh, not at all? Squatting does not help your trampoline in any sort of manner. Yeah. Uh, so everything I said was just false. No, really this is to be <laughs> keep my squats semi-okay, touch my knee. Yeah. Because I don't have an acute knee pain. Like when we do tricking, I don't have any problems with that. Yeah. It's the day after, after mm. squatting heavy every time in the last, when did we, when, three months? Mm. Since the powerlifting meet? Ever since then, I've had acute knee pain after squatting, so. It all started two weeks out from the prep. You did one workout, I remember it, and you aggravated your knee. Yeah. And then you had to go through with the full knee. Right. Which is, uh, yeah, it's it was, okay. it kind of set you back. That's, that's, the, that's the unfortunate thing about some injuries. Sometimes they just happen and then they linger. Yeah. Wear your hat backwards in the next one. Don't you? You know, it wouldn't actually work with this, would it? Would it? Uh, backwards, it might. Uh, no, it would work. You it just got to wear it like high up like this, you know? Yeah. This There's is things you don't think about when you're training with hats on yeah. this, you know? Military press, not compatible with Ford Bill. 375 plus 90. 375 plus 465. I'm so sorry. Nice. Yes. Man, I wish you didn't do so many backflips. They're so boring. Well, some people actually just watch people squatting all the time, every day, day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I went through my feed this morning, and there was three back squat videos in a row, and I was just like, there's something weird about it. Yeah, and you're about to add to that. <laughs> two, no, or, seriously. two sets or one set? That's the question. We'll just do one. Okay. Yeah, because I'm always thinking about my next move. Like, what's the next exercise? What's the next workout? How is this going to feed into that? And if I just do too much here, you know, I might have a bad tricking session later this week. Yes. And, and I might not be able to deadlift or we're yeah, we're do some rack, rack pulls, right? We're do some rack pulls just because... Uh, I mean, the bottom position for me is uh, a lot, so and right. I'm on a deficit, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Just remember this, not every rep adds value to your training, but every single rep has a cost. Woo! 
We have Tom's final set right here. He's going in, going down, going for all the reps. Here we go. Getting the work done, Tom. After you do this, you won't have to do it for probably a week. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct, yeah. And... We don't have to do it two days later. One more rep, come on. All right, I got a confession to make. You see, uh, you took your watch off while we were tricking the other day, and I hit it with my lawnmower and didn't tell you about it. I'm sorry. Actually? Yeah. What? Yeah. What watch? It was a pink one. You, you tossed it off, and I went to mow the bald spot where we do the tricks, and I hit something really hard. That's actually wrong. You're lying to me. That yeah. didn't happen. It did happen. No, it didn't. Show me the watch. I threw it away. I hit the evidence. No, you I didn't. I just felt bad about it. I have to repent now. No, you didn't. Okay. My watch? No. It was, I guess it was someone else's watch. I can't tell if you're serious or not. I think I have a watch. We're warming up on the rack pull. Here's what Juju's back looks when it's shadowed and not exposed well. I wanted to do uh, the angle that we can't see anything at. A little above knee height. Juju's just trying to get a glute pump. I'm trying to get a... Uh... I'm trying to get a long pump. <coughs> Can I make a joke about no? Let's not. Pneumonia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got whooping cough? I'm tired of this virus! I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of people talking about it. Well, it's did, not gonna stop. You know, you were just being quite hypocritical there. <sighs> so you'd like normalcy. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah? That's double overhand. Yeah, that's double overhand, but why are you doing that? Because that defeats the purpose of the exercise, actually. I mean, for the warm-up sets, I'm just doing Oh, that. you're still warming up? I haven't been deadlifting that much yet. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, this is a warm-up. Come on, Jack. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Safety squat bar is for the trampoline program. I do want to do some, what we call the Darwinism feats. Okay, on please tell me more. Right, like our, like our backflip barbell. Thing. You know, people in the comments are all just saying, these are why we can't leave men alone. These are some of the stupidest things. These guys are just gonna get injured. We're gonna do some stuff like that on the trampoline. I mean, we have to. <laughs> Cause uh, I mean, you can- we have a warranty from Ivan the trampoline man on this trampoline? Oh yeah, dude, there's okay. a big warranty on it. We need it. to read the fine print before we start using it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, they are, you guys, if you are in the market for a trampoline, they're not sponsoring us. I bought the trampoline outright I just like the guy. He's super kind. He's from British Columbia, just the nicest Canadian ever. Trampoline man. And uh, you can buy a trampoline from them. They're really nice. <laughs> um, this is uh, the a most weight I've done in a long time. A, a beltless version of the most weight you've done in a long yeah. time. Oh. Mm. I prefer a belt for that. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> what are you saying? You saying that my abs are still too big, Tom? Oh, oh, I pricked my finger, dude. I think I'm gonna get tetanus. What? From your belt. I'm suing you. <laughs> you have promised me so many things here, and I haven't gotten any of them except tetanus. I lied about your watch. I actually wear it at night. Oh, yeah? <laughs> when you just. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. The watch. It's a nice... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound Juji actually makes when he's masquerading next to his wife. And she's just always freaked out. She, uh, he just is like, oh, I'm watching Star Wars for the 18th time. I don't, I don't watch Star Wars that much. Oh, you, I know that you watch Star Wars a lot. All right, we're going to act like that last clip didn't take place and start, <laughs> a new, start a new clip. Even though it's definitely in the video. Two reps is good enough for me. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of pressure in your forehead. It is. Yeah, yeah that's, the, see, that's, the, that's my problem with stuff like this. It's like, there's a lot of pressure going up into your forehead, yeah. gives you a headache, you're useless the rest of the day, and it's tenuous whether the exercise actually accomplished anything or not, you know? I know I can't pick 445 off the ground right now without mm -hmm. just ultimate lower back rounding. So, uh, I'm just doing it from here because I know I can have my back in a good position. <laughs> That's about it. And uh, we're gonna do some lower right. body accessories. You already started doing stuff on that thing. Yeah, I changed my mind. It seems like I've changed my mind three times in the past uh, 
yeah. I'm you just... have no idea where your mind is. I no. Think. <laughs> no. Your your legs are thinking for your brain. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. In between clips, having to decide what to do <laughs> because I'm confused. And filming in between things can be a little disorienting. I'm not going to let that be my excuse. But it's today about, it is your excuse. Today is my excuse. <laughs> yeah, I'm just confused at this moment. I don't even know where we're at. But uh, I'm happy I got the squats done. That was number one. Yep. But I, I want to continue to do some work. But I don't want it to be a waste of time. So if you're going to waste your time doing something, waste your time stretching. Because <laughs> it's an easier waste of time than sitting on a leg extension machine and getting nowhere. So that's my goal right now. Plus, I love true. flexibility. I, yeah. I mean, it just works. This, sorry, this, this is work. also one of the most bang for your buck stretches. If you're not doing Cossack squash stretches, yeah. I would say I can distinctly, John, like clear in my mind when I started doing Cossack squat stretches when I was like 21 ish is when my flexibility with tricking went up massively. Oh, yeah. It was like very every day I would do them, every session I would do them, and I don't know why I'm not doing them now. <laughs> you're doing pitch shark. Right, right. But I actually, I really, do, I should be doing them more because I forgot about that. That you doing those just reminded me that I, they made such a big impact on my flexibility. Okay, let's do something. Uh, I'm not going to do them right now. It's just healthy to be flexible. Uh, it's, I mean, it's helped me a lot. I mean, in a lot of ways, not just in training, but right. in just feeling like good. Mm -hmm. Walking <laughs> day -day around. Basis. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like people who have some stamina from doing a little bit more cardio work tend to feel better. Uh, the flexibility work, if you do build your flexibility, you, it's kind of like a similar thing that just kind of carries over to everything you do. True. <sighs> All right, well. <laughs> it's kind of like a squat without anything on your back so that you don't feel it in your neck and your head and your shoulders <sighs> yeah, and your back. It's a lot of... It's a lot of it's a lot of uh, a lot of brain saving for later. <sighs> Always like people that romanticize about these super duper hard workouts, and I understand like oh, okay. there's a lot of epicness to like you know Chuck Vogel pulling your way through through every workout of every year of your life. But sometimes you just need to do some work that just doesn't kill you, so you can actually get some crap done outside of your training sessions. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm not saying that because we're not training hard. Obviously, we're getting results. You know, but it's just like, wh what's the least amount of work I can do to actually get the result? You know, right yeah, now? Yeah, well, and just, there's also work that makes you more tired with certain volume or intensity and other work that, like bodybuilding work that you can do a bunch and probably not going to be too effed up from it. Yeah. And but if even, you're outside in the sun doing squats or something, yeah, good luck doing anything other than being a freaking zucchini throughout the rest of the day, dude. So, just going out there and doing some bullshit isn't gonna help you for the rest of the day, but doing some sets on the jump squat. <laughs> the jump that. squat. Ah, dude, yeah, we could jump on this thing with some bands. Oh, you seen those? You seen those before? Oh, you could, look at it. Yeah. Actually, you could. Yeah. That'd be very interesting, wouldn't it be? Uh, what are you doing next? Classic squats. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm done. Okay. Um, uh, let's end it on a meal. How about that? A meal? Yeah, yeah let's, shit, let's eat something and they can see what we've been eating. Okay. Can we do an old school transition style thing? Uh, go yeah, black we can do in. something. He has. Oh, one microphone, one microwave, <laughs> two microwaves. This is beef, it's not appealing. This is a shake you often make. It's got uh, orange juice, spinach, ice. And then we're gonna put some eggs. So it's basically monster mash. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> sprouts. With sprouts, some... too. Yeah, yeah. He's on a sprout kick. You got a fenugreek sprouts, broccoli mix, alfalfa, uh, daikon radish, and these are a crunchy bean mix, which I'm not sure if I like yet. Mm. I mean, if you're a vegan and you need a high quality protein source and you're a smaller person that doesn't need a lot of protein. Sure. Uh, and the health benefits are good, but um, I don't know if it's adding anything. Right. Honestly, okay. but I'm just doing it for fun. It's, okay. it's, it's not hurting me. I'm not getting gas or anything from it, which is important for me. So it's good. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I got this cool tip I want to show you real quick. I drink this before meal two and meal four of my days. And you have six meals, five meals? Five. I do five. I can't do six. Uh, I, I'm not. Okay, so you're doing this between enough. two and four? Uh, yes, I do it between two 
and f I do it before two and four. Okay. So typically meal two and four are uh, lower vegetable meals for me. That is the non-sugar added cranberry. Yeah, but one serving. And then uh, lemon juice. Yep. Just uh, about a tablespoon. I want some two. too. You want one? Here, yeah. I'll just make this one for you. Um, and then ap apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. And what you will do is you'll just s slam this right before you start eating. And it'll really help with digestion. And it's really healthy. These things are really good for you. Oh, that stuff's really good. Mm. So it's just like a health shot, you know? I mm. like it. I, I, f I feel good. Yeah, we used to drink that beet uh, health shot all the time. The beet health shot's good, yeah. It's just but, expensive because you want to drink a lot of it. Let me show you how much apple cider vinegar I've been through in the past two months. Wow, that <laughs> amount? I, I went through this. Oh because did you see how much I poured in there in that glass? Yeah. It's a lot. I'm serious. This isn't just a drink I'm showing you that I've done twice. Right. I, I, this is how many times I've done. This is how many times I've done this drink before. That's a lot. I think it, I think it adds a lot of value. And uh, here you chug that one. Just yeah. That one. He's just, cool. It's not too bad with the uh, the cranberry. But this by itself is kind of like you know it, right. it'll burn, but yeah, the cranberry cuts it, so it's just like, okay, it's gone. All right. That's it. You want one too? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they are, have carbs, they have fat, they have protein, they have spinach, they have macros. Yeah, so that's yesterday. I've been tracking the whole month. Can you see those? Mm hmm. It's consumed on the left, and okay. you can kind of see that. You're at what a day? Uh, I was under 39. That was a, that was a bad day. And then, yeah, you can you just kind of see basically stand underneath 4,000 for the most part. Sexy. And then uh, I had a baseline week back here where I was just measuring what I was eating and not mm. actually tracking it. So my uh, I got to this point by uh, eating 4,500 calories a day on average. And now that I'm dieting down, I've gotten down to 3,900 and then I started gaining weight again. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this isn't working. So now I have to cut it down to 3,600. So I'm going to stay here for a bit and see how I feel. It seems to be working. So oh, I'm going to eat exactly just, half as much as you a day. Uh, so you're eating 1800 yeah yeah look at the portions yeah yeah i don't i also have three meals a day so i, I just eat a lot less than you mm -hmm. but we're, we're in a good spot yum uh eat these things eat uh guys share pictures of your meals in the comments we're gonna look at all of them oh can they share pictures and comments no, no.